Hey everyone, part two of the soda tier list. I was hoping to have this to a little bit sooner, but things got kind of crazy and busy and all that stuff. You know how all, you know how all that adulting stuff goes. But anyway, I'm here to finish up the list, to finish the fight, just like Master Chief would want it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my best reaction channel type of uh, impression. So let's, without any further ado, dive right back on in. Uh, where we left off was we had Mountain Dew Code Red number one, and we were going through the other sodas. And if you have noticed, between part one to part two, I've even adjusted the camera. So now it's over in the, um, it would be our right-hand side when you're watching the video. Um, and now you can see what soda's coming up next in the tier list, where before it was blocked off, and that was unfortunate. I didn't think about that ahead of time. So we do have Mountain Dew Livewire. Now, Mountain Dew Livewire is a very good soda. Uh, I I like it. I think it's nice. It, there's another example of an orange soda I do like, as opposed to all the ones that I threw in terrible. So Mountain Dew Livewire, we will actually put up in great tier. I would say, do I prefer it more than Crush? Honestly, yeah, I prefer it more than Crush. We're going to put it behind Coke Zero and A&W but I had a crush. I think that's right where Livewire belongs. Mountain Dew has a ton of great variety to choose from and uh, that's just another one. Mountain Dew Pitch Black is next. Now, I know this isn't a lot of people's favorites, but I have a little special place in my heart for Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Reason being, I remember when this soda first came out when I was in high school and I had this really cool Philadelphia Eagles mug that you would freeze and I would come home after a hard day at school like a, like a deadbeat dad who drinks beer every day and I would come home after school instead of being a beer drinker I was a Mountain Dew Pat Pitch Black drinker and I would have the big bottle that my parents would get me in the fridge crack it open pour it into the uh, frozen cup if you will it was more like a plastic material but the neat thing was when you would pour it specifically in that kind of cup when it was already cold and frozen, it would turn the foam like a uh, powder blue. And it, I just thought it enhanced the flavor for some reason as a kid. I really loved that. So all that long story to say Mountain Dew Pitch Black is going to be rated higher for me than it probably would be for you based on my nostalgia. Um... I'm going to say it's amazing. I'm going to put it at the end of amazing to be fair. And I know a lot of people will disagree with this, but I think it's amazing. I just love the soda. I'm you know, a big fan of some grape things. That's certainly going to be one of them. Uh, now, KFC, what does this say here? I can't see. I feel so darn old. I really can't tell what that says. Sweet lightning is what it looks like. It's really small on my screen. Can't quite tell. I've never had that before, so I'm. I would love to try it more than anything else on this would try list. Mountain Dew, um, something KFC exclusive. I would, I would totally try that. I think that sounds great. <laughs> uh, Mountain Dew Voltage. I've had this quite a few times. It's just good. It's nothing special to me. Uh, I would put it behind 7-Up. It, it's a good soda. It's fine. Nothing too special about it, but, you know, not that bad either. Mountain Dew Whiteout belongs with Voltage. It's just another fine soda. Nothing really special. Um, I think it's the can or the case with the shark on it, which is kind of cool. Like Great White Shark. So that's neat. Outside of that, the marketing of it, it, it it's okay. Traditional. The old school OG Mountain Dew. This Mountain Dew is going to be great. In fact, I would put it on the top of great. Uh, that feels about right. Regular Mountain Dew, the OG, as I said, is just a standalone fantastic beverage. It goes great with mixed drinks if you're into that kind of thing. And it holds its own against any other soda. And it has all that caffeine too, if that's really what you're looking for. Moving on, we have Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper. I've had this before, it's pretty good. 
I'm gonna in fact put it in good seems to be right where it belongs dr. Perry Pe yeah dr. pepper cherry is good I do I prefer it more or less than cherry vanilla I would say in this case I prefer it more than cherry vanilla uh, it just has a bit of a more deeper in rich taste <laughs> um, of cherry notes it sounds very very pretentious I know but it's true diet dr. pepper cherry uh, is actually good dr. pepper is one of the well actually no let me readjust this list just a tiny bit I would put diet dr. pepper cherry ahead of diet coke I would say dr. pepper cherry is great I would agree with this right now this little setup I have here this looks pretty good and dr. pepper is one of the few soda companies that actually make really good diet beverages uh, and that includes Dr. Pepper diet. Hold on, we're readjusting this. None of the diet sodas go ahead of these two crushes. Everything else adds up though. There we are. So yeah, uh, Dr. Pepper diet is right there next to Dr. Pepper cherry diet. So, <laughs> uh, let's see. Now we have original Dr. Pepper, which is terrible. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding everyone. Don't worry. It's not terrible. It's actually amazing it's s tier i would put it third on my list um mountain dew code red coke vanilla dr pepper that's a very fine top three right now for me i feel like i overhyped baja blast a little bit in my last video after careful consideration i would put baja blast down here and everything else adds up just fine fanta don't you wanna wanna fanta uh-huh Hmm. Berry, I, I've had berry. Honestly, Fantas are just okay to me. N you know, I would take it over Barks, sure. So we'll put that there. Great Fanta, same thing. Really, no Fantas really stand out to me too much. Fanta Orange is actually pretty good. Uh, I'd put that in good next to Crush Grape. Fanta pineapple is pretty tasty too. I would also put that in good. Fanta chair, is that, no, strawberry. I can't remember if I've had this or not. I probably have, I would just put it like in here behind berry. Fresca, Fresca is a weird soda for me. There's times where it reminds me of 50-50. I don't know if you've ever had that soda. It was made by the Crystal Soda Company. They made things like, um, Trying to think of other examples. Um, Cherry Cube Red, if you had that. It's more of a Pennsylvania thing, I think. But uh, they, they made a couple different sodas, and Fresca was one of them. Or 50-50, uh, rather, was one of them. You could still get it online, which is definitely worth doing if you haven't tried it. But Fresca kind of gives me that vibe sometimes. But then it also, especially when you get a little further into a can of it and stuff like that, it kind of really starts to remind you of seltzer water. A little bit there's a touch of that but it is refreshing all that to say it's okay I would put it ahead of crushed strawberry in the okay section but that's where it goes IBC cream soda I've had this before it's okay I would say it's right there with a W cream soda IBC root beer uh, same thing I would put it right next to the cream soda in fact I would put it ahead of the cream soda and I had a A&W cream soda. Uh, Jones Soda Company soda. I've had a few flavors from them, not a bunch, but a few. They're fine, they're very tasty, they're good. They're good. Um, this doesn't really specify what type, I know they have all different types, but from everything I had, they've been pretty good. So I'll put them right there in the middle. Mellow Yellow is so weird for me, because sometimes it's tasty, but it really, I mean, who are we kidding? Mellow Yellow is like, a knockoff version of Mountain Dew. Let's be completely honest about this. I mean, that's gonna get you in an okay section. I would take it actually probably second and okay, you know, in this list so far. That's, it feels about right to me. Moxie, I've had Moxie and it's okay. I would say Moxie goes right there. Yeah, Moxie is a, a pretty tasty soda. It's not too bad. Not one of my favorites for sure, though. 
mug mug cream soda the soda with the dog on it mug cream soda is okay i would prefer any brand of these over barks bark sucks sort of uh mug root beer same thing in fact would i take it over ibc nah i think these are all about the same they're all in the same kind of category in fact, Mug Root Beer is pretty good. You know, Mug's Root Beer is definitely better than Bark's Root Beer. And I would say so is IBC. Uh, these Root Beers are definitely better than... I, I would take Mug over IBC. That, that makes sense. And these Root Beers are definitely better than Bark's Root Beers. Yeah. yeah that, that works. 1893 Pepsi Cola. I don't think I've ever had this before. I've seen the label before, so maybe I have it. I just don't remember anything about it. I don't think this is that. No, this isn't the time when Pepsi went with real sugar. Uh, so I don't know what 1893 is. I would be very curious to try it, though. So I'm going to put it right there in N.A. Pepsi Cherry Vanilla. A great soda. And it belongs in the great category. Oh, where am I going? So yeah, we'll put Pepsi Cherry Vanilla up here. And it's going to leapfrog over a lot of these other beverages right to there. In fact, Coke Zero, I would take Livewire over you. I'm starting to really revise my list here. That's where I would take it, right there. And I'll put it behind, in front of a &W. Crystal Pepsi, this was the one that was clear. It was white, if I'm not mistaken, or, or crystal clear at least. And I've had it before. It didn't really stand out to me too much, but I don't really remember it that much i remember just thinking it was okay so i'll put it here behind jones and that's where crystal pepsi will stay for its uniqueness if we were you know valuing these things on uniqueness and branding and marketing and you know trying different parts of the market out it would certainly be higher but because it was a cool idea but you know just for purely out of taste it goes in good Diet Pepsi caffeine free. We'll just shove that right here next to Coke caffeine free. Diet Pepsi wild cherry. I would say it's okay. And we'll put it ahead of Diet Mountain Dew. Diet Pepsi, on the other hand, is a good soda. I might even go so far as to call it a great soda. No, I'll say it's good. I'll put it right next to Diet Coke. I actually prefer Diet Pepsi over Diet Coke. So take that for what it's worth. Pepsi Max Cherry is tasty. That belongs uh, ahead of Crush. Pepsi Max is really good. I actually think it's great. I'll put it right up here in greats. In fact, uh, well, I'm kind of having that. It's not Pepsi Max. I actually prefer Pepsi Max, but this is Pepsi Zero Sugar. So. Pepsi Cola Real Sugar. I remember when this first came out, I was working as a teenager at Walmart. I think it was Walmart as like a cart pusher. <laughs> and this came out and I remember getting one one time for lunch and I actually really liked it. I liked the real sugar um, aftertaste and everything from these sodas. I think a few, uh, a few different brands tried it, not just Pepsi. I could be mistaken. But I thought it was really good. So I'm going to put it at the top of good i wish they would kind of do that more often i know they bring it back once in a while but i wish it was more consistent pepsi wild cherry is very good i would say it's amazing i'm gonna put pitch black in the back of amazing because again that's more nostalgia than anything and i will fight about it all day but pepsi wild cherry will go next to coke cherry the two are very close i think coke cherry wins out does it though yeah I think it does I think it does and then finally we have Pepsi and I am one of the weird people when it comes to Pepsi and Coke I actually prefer Pepsi now I know Coke has this secret recipe made out of coca leaves and all this tradition and stuff but Coke is also like an evil giant conglomerate that try to force all these other companies out of the market by strong arming them in fact, there's a great video series, um, not series, but a video 
by the company man who's this big YouTuber. You should look him up. He's really interesting. And he did a, um, a video a few months back about the RC Cola company and how they basically got screwed over by Coca-Cola. They were very successful and Coca-Cola kind of ripped it all down. Um, but yeah, Pepsi, all that say Pepsi is right there with Coke, has been competing with them for a long time. It's always kind of been like Big Brother and Little Brother. But I think Pepsi tastes better than Coke. I've always had Pepsi more as a kid than Coke. And that's that's where I'm standing on it. So I would love to hear your thoughts on Pepsi versus Coke. Because I know that's a hot debate between people who love sodas. <laughs> Up next is Pib Extra. Pib is okay. I'm not... The biggest fan of it I would say it's like right here next to moxie it's a fine soda it's okay to drink I guess if it's around but um, would not go out of my way at all to get that and we have RC Cola I actually am a big fan of RC for the first few sips at least those first couple of nostalgic sips of RC Cola bring me back to simpler times of my childhood because it was the one main soda we could afford as kids and um, it's always been relegated as like the minor league team of colas. And again, as I just mentioned, the company man really gets into as to why that is and how they got screwed over by Coke and other things. Um, but RC is a great soda in my opinion. I know a lot of people say it's trash and terrible and blah, blah, blah. But those first couple sips hit perfectly. It's a really nice drink. The only complaint that I really have about it is it gets flat a lot faster than other Cokes or other Colas. It becomes very syrupy. You can only get through like a half a bottle, in my experience at least, of drinking it. And by bottle, I mean like a 20 ounce, not like a big one. It's like a 20 ounce bottle, you get through half it and it becomes kind of flat and syrupy, even after a matter of just like 10 or so minutes of drinking it or however, you know. So that kind of ruins it for me in that aspect. But outside of that, RC is great. And uh, that's where it belongs. It belongs up with great. Now we have Schweppes ginger ale. Uh, this is the diet ginger ale. Schweppes is fine. Uh, I mainly just use Schweppes, like the seltzer water and stuff for like mixed drinks, things like that. The tonic water. Um, diet ginger ale, it's good. I've never had any complaints about it. So there it is. That's where it belongs, right there. And we also have... Schweppes Raspberry Ginger Ale. This is pretty good. I'm going to put it in good above Barks. Right there. Uh, actually, I would I would prefer the Raspberry Ginger Ale over most of these other root beers. If I'm being honest about it. Raspberry Ginger Ale is pretty good. I like the flavor of it. The bubbliness of it. The refreshing crispness of the ginger ale. It's, an, it's a nice little mix that Schweppes has uh, mastered there. And then Schweppes ginger ale is a fine soda. Uh, I would even say it's great. You know, I would put Schweppes right there behind Cherry 7-Up. That feels about right to me. Okay, now we have Sierra Mist Free Cranberry Splash. I heard that Sierra Mist has been recently replaced by Starry. It's like another very similar tasting soda I don't know if that's true uh, if it is that's disappointing because uh, I always thought Sierra Mist was cool I don't know I always kind of liked the name it seemed like a little brand of its own I think it's made by the Pepsi company and stuff but uh Sierra Mist free cranberry splash I know I've had this before I don't remember enough of it to really compare it to the other good sodas but I would say yeah, Sierra Mist Cranberry Splash. Uh, I think this is the diet version because Sierra Mist free. Uh, so I, I would put it in good. And of course, Sierra Mist is, um, if it is starry now, either or, uh, Sierra Mist is a good soda. It's completely fine. We will put it here above Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper. And you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to change my list a bit. The Pepsi Cola real sugar i'm gonna say it was great from everything i remember about it it was a great soda i'm gonna put it ahead of schweppes 
that that seems about right to me i know i've been changing my list a little bit here as we've gone along but uh my mind changes my mind changes with it we're down now to the final line we have sprite cherry which is good it's definitely a good soda i would put it like right there behind crystal pepsi sprite cranberry i actually really enjoy i think it's a great soda i would put it right there in front of cherry seven up i think sprite cranberry is delicious i know it's not everyone's thing but i really enjoy it sprite zero is one of the best diet sodas you can get um i think that is also well i wouldn't say it's great i would say it's good i would put it right next to pepsi max cherry yeah sprite zero is a very tasty beverage for sure I, you know what? i'll put it in front of no uh, nah, sprite cherry goes first and then sprite zero original sprite is an amazing soda it would fall behind coke for me next to canada dry uh, sprite is fantastic you can't go wrong with sprite you really can't if you want a good mixed drink recommendation uh, sprite with watermelon vodka is fantastic if you like lighter fruitier drinks and stuff sometimes i like to mix it up i prefer things like just bourbon whiskey stuff like that whenever i do drink which is seldomly uh, more of a social thing than anything so it's been about half a year now <laughs> um but when i do want something kind of fruity and light and just refreshing a uh, watermelon vodka and sprite is where it's at so if you are somebody who's into that and making your own stuff at home or just ordering something when you're out with your friends that's a good go-to um, so sprite is great for things like that too and we have sun drop uh sun drops okay uh i will actually put it in okay in front of mellow yellow i think sun drop belongs right about there Sunkissed. Sunkissed is actually going to go above Crush. I think Sunkissed is the best orange soda that there is uh, that's made. Sunkissed is delicious. And uh, that's where that belongs, right there. Feels about right. Crush is definitely a close second, especially in terms of orange sodas, but Sunkissed does win out. Surge. <laughs> Surge is so weird. What a just odd soda. It's weird they still make it. Um, it, it. I like Surge, not that flavor or anything like that. I like it because of its aesthetic. It just reminds me of like a 90s soda. You know, it just had, like, look at it. It just looks like something that 90s kids would flock to because of the way it looks and the attitude it has. It's kind of like Guts from Nickelodeon. It's just, it's got that whole vibe to it. Um, Surge, though... It's okay. It's nothing special at all. Uh, I would take it instead of Bark Scream Soda. That's for sure. And let me be more fair to Schweppes Diet Ginger Ale. I would put it there. Yeah. That that's that's nice. I like the way that looks. And then finally, Tab. I've never heard a Tab before never seen this label not that i can recall i would definitely be interested in trying it probably well, before that get there there we go i would prefer to try it almost last um it i, I don't even know what that's like <laughs> i don't know what flavor that would be i don't know anything about it who makes it but hey i'm always down to try something as long as it doesn't kill me and sometimes you got to take risks that might kill you, but I don't like to try that all the time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's where my list stands. So let me give this one final little review. Mountain Dew Code Red. Uh, we're just going to go over the amazing list. Code Red, Coke Vanilla, Dr. Pepper. Those are my top three. Uh, funny enough, I barely ever drink any Mountain Dew anymore. Haven't had Code Red in probably over a year. I'm remembering correctly but if there's a soda like I would have to pick is my favorite like all time Mountain Dew Code Red has been like the go-to for myself throughout my life as far as childhood teenage years it's been Code Red 
It's the one with the most memories, which is important to me. So Code Red is the go-to for that. Um, Coke Vanilla is great. Delicious soda. Pepsi Vanilla would be before that if that was on this list, but it's not. Dr. Pepper is amazing. It's an original flavor. It's not related to any of these others. It's its own thing, and I really appreciate it for it because it's very unique. Pepsi over Coke because I just prefer Pepsi. Sprite is great. Canada Dry is great. Mountain Dew Baja Blast because of the exclusivity that used to be behind it, and now just because it's a tasty beverage. Coke Cherry because it's great. It's a very delicious soda. Pepsi Wild Cherry. It's not as good as Coke Cherry, but it's right there. And then Mountain Dew Pitch Black for the feels and nostalgia more so than anything. Plus, I think it tastes good. And everything else is self-explanatory. And you know what? Mountain Dew deserves better. Mountain Dew goes there. Yeah, Mountain Dew definitely deserves better. So that's where that goes. Uh, do I want to revise anything else before I like make this my final verdict? Mm, nope. Definitely nothing down here. That looks good to me. So that's my final list. I would love to hear what you think is better or worse. Uh, what would you choose as your amazing rank? You don't have to tell me all the sodas. Just, you know, if you had to pick a few as your top three or top five, let me know. I'd be very curious to have that conversation with you. And if you like content like this, definitely please you know, give me some feedback on it. Uh, do you prefer these kinds of videos? Do you not want to see them anymore? Do you want it on a separate channel? Uh, that kind of stuff can definitely help me tune things for you, the audience, going forward. And uh, But yeah, until next time, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. Later.